So the process of building multiple pages is really a simple one. We're going to just copy and paste our existing file and then switch out our graphics with the correct headers and then we'll start to build up our content inside of each of the pages. Alright, let's go ahead and close this file and save it if it asks you. Okay, I'm going to actually turn off this um, uh, piece here because I don't really hardly ever use it and I'll get you out of the habit as well. Let's go to Files and Index is really going to be our main piece that we're going to be working with. So I'm just going to Control C and Control V to paste and then we can rename this file. So this will be Gallery. Okay, and it's saying update the links. Um, yeah, there's no need to update. We're we're not we don't have anything linked together yet. So let's just get all the pieces ready. Okay, Control C and V. We'll paste this and call this Contact Us. Remember, no spaces. Okay, I'm not going to update. No spaces in your file name. Okay. Special editions. I'm not going to update and testimony actually I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll call this testimonial testimonials alright so that should be all of my pages here. I'm going to just kind of tuck these away. You noticed it added an, a new folder for us called Library. So that's uh, it added those automatically to our setup here. And what I want to do now is open each one of these one by one, change out the content, and get everything kind of ironed out of what we need to, to have. So we'll start first with this header image. Okay, That way, as we tweak this out, it'll be very easy for you to see the changes as they're happening. All right, we'll go to our um, property set here. And the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to uh, browse for this with, a, with the file folder. So we're going to go to the interface. Okay, so our images interface and this is going to be the home so the main image home you can see this kind of preview here we'll click OK and there it is that's our first image okay. we'll close this out say yes we're gonna save now you can open your files from up here as well so you can go to open okay the next one we'll do is contact us another way of working with these images we can first go find where they are okay so there's the contact us image so you can highlight this main banner stand-in or placeholder and then you could click and drag to the file that you want to replace it with so I prefer to actually work that way it's a little bit faster a little more intuitive okay we'll open up testimonials okay we'll go ahead and replace that image there just like that Special editions. Okay, control S to save. And then we have a gallery. So I'll go ahead and link that to gallery. All right, so all of our pages are linked. What we or, or our graphics have been added to all of our pages. What we want to do now, and let me actually open up one of these and show you what it looks like. Um, if you get this error, okay, it's pretty much saying that it's using active content. You can allow blocked content. Okay, you can say yes. And there you go. I'll show you a little trick here. The reason it's giving you that error is because of this flash file. All right, and I'll show you how you can avoid that while you're testing here in just a little bit. All right, only one of these is linked, and it's not really linked to anything. So how do we fix this? Well, we're going to open up our library element. This, and you can actually access your library elements directly in this file palette. You don't have to go to Assets if you don't want to. Assets is a little bit neater, but here, here we are right here. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the word Home, and where it has this link, I'm going to delete that. And you can link things the same way. You can um, use your folder menu, so we can go to Index. Okay, that's linked. Okay, Special Editions. 
you can use the little click and dragger here so we can go to special editions okay gallery now you could see previously linked things here so, but since we don't have any previously linked you're gonna have to go to a different way and so you can use this hyperlink option here okay and that will be um, gallery again I like just the intuitiveness of just clicking and dragging I, I just find that to be faster for for the way I work okay and then contact us okay here's what's great about this I'll hit save or close and I'll hit save it's gonna ask me do I want to update yes I do there it is it's done and now let's preview okay I'll go ahead and activate my ActiveX and I'll show you that here in just a second how to get around that alright I'm gonna hit F5 to refresh and you can see all of these are now linked if I go to contact us testimonials gallery special editions back to home now why did we go through this whole process of building out each of these uh, pieces well it would have been for we would have had to open every page so we have five pages each page has five links so we would have had to have tweaked out 25 links and the chances of you making a mistake greatly increase with every new page that you add where in this instance if we add one more page we can just add it to this list pushes everything down link it and all the pages are linked so library elements just one of the greatest functions of Dreamweaver I think you'll find it hugely hugely um, uh, helpful when building up your pages now let's go in and tweak this color I'm not really a big fan of that color we're gonna go with a lighter orange okay and that's done in the style sheet so we'll just go to this menu here and I'm gonna pick this lighter orange okay and let's just save our work and let's preview it real quick now to get rid of that little uh, thing that's always popping up this is an ActiveX control because of this flash file what you can do is go to um, commands and insert this called insert mark of the web by doing that okay we'll just save this you can see that it didn't give us this little error and it went ahead and pulled up our file correctly so there we go nice clean elegant we've got exactly everything that we want now let's go in and start building some of the pages and I'll show you how to format your elements as you add them to your pages